Hey folks, this is Ben with Ben's Campers, and today we're taking a look at this 2002 Fleetwood Pioneer 19-foot travel trailer for sale. Asking price is $2,800, $2,800. Uh, this is another as-is special that does need some work. We're going to check that out and go over this trailer. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you're watching from the Facebook ad for this trailer. I appreciate that big time. If you could subscribe uh, to this channel, especially if you like campers and are maybe looking for a cheap uh, fixer-upper. Uh, I'm a dealer here in Monongahela, PA, and we just opened up and we are going to have a lot of these uh, small, low-priced fixer-upper units, and we'll have some nicer ready-to-go stuff as well, but right now we're going to be running through a lot of inventory. So again, uh, please subscribe. You don't want to miss uh, all the crazy deals or if you just are here to see campers because you like them I appreciate that the same and uh, welcome you and thank you for joining me so let's take a look at this unit so Fleetwood Pioneer uh, Fleetwood product was very good uh, good quality of this year uh, this is an aluminum skin trailer so you don't have to worry about delamination um, this trailer weighs I think gross is around 5,000 Unladen is going to be in the 4000s. I'll put that in the ad for it. Uh, it's an easy tow with a dual axle. Uh, nice solid frame, nice solid uh, body structure, no sagging, no um, no real big dents or, or any um, rust on the frame, anything like that. So chassis, everything's real, real well on this unit. Uh, this unit does need a set of tires. Uh, the set on it are, I think they're from 2008, so they're well past their prime. Uh, this unit needs a roof job, so we're going to go up there and take a look at that. Uh, all the running lights work on this unit, and the brakes do work, so it's easy to tow. I do deliver uh, at $100 plus a dollar per mile one way, and then uh, $250 a mile after 200 miles. Um, do have all the keys for this unit. All the windows are nice and intact. Uh, it does have a nice awning, but the uh, canvas on there is kaput, so you'll want to get a new canvas um, for the awning. That's uh, relatively easy and inexpensive. Uh, again, needs a set of tires. Um, I think they're 15s on there. 205, 75, 15s. Yeah, I would go up to 225s on this trailer, but. Uh, this is a very tall trailer. It doesn't fit in my garage, so I cannot do the roof work for you on this one. So let's check out that roof. Okay, so we're up here on the roof of this unit, and uh, this is a one-piece rubber roof. And as you can see, somebody sprayed it black with, uh, I think, Flex Seal or whatever product. Guys, don't do that to your trailer. It's not going to fix the problem. Uh, the rubber roof wasn't leaking. It's the seams that leak. And uh, this, this rubber does need replaced now. I mean, it needed replaced anyways. If you look at this corner, they tried patching it and swabbing all the materials on it. So a new rubber roof kit, I think, is just shy of 300 bucks for this. Um, I'm not going to lie to you and say it's a super easy job or that it's, you know, something you're going to knock out on a Saturday because it's not. Uh, you got to take these vents off and uh, remove that AC. Look, they just <laughs> sprayed right around the antenna. Jeez. Uh, you can see the wood is sagging there. It's soft, especially here in this corner. So you're going to have to replace the wood underneath. Um, it's not a super crazy job, but I say that as someone who has done them and does RV roofs all the time. So, um, you know, you can watch some YouTube videos. Uh, I would recommend either if you don't know how to do it or know somebody that can't or don't know somebody that can, um, this is probably not the trailer for you. So uh, one thing I did forget to mention, it does have a newer battery on it uh, and it, it does have uh, two propane tanks. One is a 30 gallon, one's a 20 gallon. Uh, so it does have those with it. So let's go inside. Okay guys, so we're inside of the Fleetwood Pioneer and uh, this is a pretty nice trailer inside. Um, cabinets are pretty nice. Everything is intact. Nothing's been painted or ripped out. 
Um, got a nice dinette there. Uh, it does have the ceiling damage, so we'll check that out. So up front is a futon. Uh, we did give this trailer a quick detail. Uh, we shampooed the upholstery and wiped it all down. You know, you could do a little better, but it is pretty clean. Uh, it does have a working microwave. Every appliance in this trailer does work uh, that I've tried. The AC is cold. Uh, the refrigerator is cold. The hot water heater kicks on. The microwave works. Uh, stove and oven works. Um, all the lights work. It does have a built-in stereo, which works. Um, Dinette makes a bed. Nice solid floor. Uh, again, the ceiling there, you see it sagging. You see some water damage. That's going to need addressed. And then the worst of it is back in that corner there above the bunk bed. It's got space for a, I guess, a full-size bed or maybe an RV queen size. Um, again, above that there, the ceiling damage is evident. Yeah, this is a nice uh, little trailer, nice little fixer-upper. It's nice and solid, nice and tall uh, unit. The bathroom sink there. And in the bathroom now, somebody replaced the floor sections here. Uh, they, I guess the toilet leaked or something, and they, um, you know, replaced a piece of wood and then put this piece of vinyl over top. I got a shower and a toilet. And it has a gray and a black tank, of course. So this unit, uh, low price, fixer-upper. The front ceiling's in pretty nice shape. Uh, there's no water damage up front. No water damage to the walls except that rear corner there. So uh, take that as, as you may. It's a low price unit and it needs the work that it needs. Uh, it's sold as is. So I appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe again. And we'll see you with the next one. God bless.